A day-to-day -day ranger um, typical day looks like anywhere from 15 minutes um, of sleep <laughs> in a 24-hour period um, to three hours, which that would be a very long, you know, nights of sleep, um, anywhere from one to two meals. We generally um, are going on patrols, which are, you know, in squad level, um, so about eight to 12 uh, people. Um, we go out and practice um, basic um, infantry tactics and drills, um, and the um, the leadership aspect of it is learning how to lead people who are tired and hungry, you know, through their physical boundaries and barriers. The first phase is really, it's called the bending phase, uh, and it is um, just an introduction really to the phases that you're going to experience, um, which are mountains and swamps. Um, so, and that is just um, Fort Benning, Georgia, uh, and that's normal, you know, terrain, nothing um, crazy, but it, you're crossing streams, um, you're going, you know, up you're starting to go up mountains and get you know the idea of how to use your equipment in those environments. You move from the bending phase to the mountain phase, which is in North Georgia, in Dahlonega, Georgia. Uh, and those hills seem to get bigger and bigger the longer you stay there, and they're only uphill, there's never downhills. Um, and then finally, the last phase is Florida phase, swamp phase. We go down to uh, around Eggland Air Force Base, um, where we conduct our swamp training. Um, we work on crossing um, boat movements and crossing you know, streams using our ropes and different um, equipment that we have, um, and then um, also um, traversing through the swamp land that way. In the military, it's, it's, it's very important to be a leader by example. Uh, so I get to see my soldiers on a day-to-day -day basis and I want to do the same things that they're doing. I want to act and present myself in a way that they want to conduct themselves. So being respectful, responsible, you know, being on time to things, setting the example that way is how, you know, I show leadership.